Understanding, you're all talk, a guide to English idioms. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of English idioms, focusing on the phrase, you're all talk. Idioms are a vital part of English and can be quite fun to learn. They add color and expressiveness to the language. So, let's get started and explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in your conversations. You're all talk is an idiom that implies someone is full of words but lacking in action. It's used to describe a person who makes promises or boasts about doing things but never follows through with them. This phrase often carries a tone of criticism or skepticism towards the person's ability to deliver on their words. To better understand this idiom, let's look at some examples. 1. In a work context. Imagine a colleague always talks about finishing big projects but never actually completes them. You might say, John is all talk. He never delivers what he promises. 2. In personal relationships, if a friend keeps saying they'll help you move but never shows up, you could say, I guess Lisa is all talk and no action. 3. In public figures, discussing a politician who makes grand promises but doesn't follow through, one might comment, she's all talk. We've yet to see any real change. Understanding synonyms can help you recognize similar expressions. Here are a few. Empty talker. All bark and no bite. More sizzle than steak. Each of these carries a similar meaning but may be used in slightly different contexts or with varying degrees of emphasis. When using, you're all talk. Avoid these common mistakes. Don't overuse it. This phrase is somewhat negative and should be used sparingly and in appropriate contexts. Context is key, be sure you understand the situation well. Misusing it can lead to misunderstandings or offense. That's all for our exploration of, you're all talk. Remember, idioms are not just phrases but a window into the culture and creativity of language. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. Keep practicing, and you'll be using English idioms like a native in no time. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.